What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Now today, we have some pretty shocking, some pretty sad news, and I must warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Now our first story today is about the girlfriend of Twitch streamer known as... Edwin! Now, last night on Edwin's stream, his girlfriend came home from a night out with some friends, and she told him that she had just been assaulted. Now, this story is still developing, so we don't know everything, but what we do know is allegedly, when his girlfriend Debin came out of the club, some kind of vacuum salesman jumped her, and the vacuum hose got stuck on her neck. She has a crazy bruise, and I'm sure she has some mental injuries as well. I mean, I, I can't imagine coming out of a nightclub, and there are vacuum salesmen just attacks me, and and he attaches, he just, he just attaches the vacuum to my neck and I, I just wouldn't know what to do. So prayers for Debin, please. This is a very, very serious situation. Like I said, the story is still developing and this piece of shit vacuum salesman is still on the loose. Now here is the clip. Like I said, viewer discretion is advised. Roll it. What's on your neck, bruh? Little freak. All right. <laughs> <laughs> bro chat it's the craziest thing you know it's funny like the reason i'm showing you guys that is because she like dude like i, I guess she like went out like with some like some friends and shit like they went out and i guess like when she came back from like clubbing she said that like, some, like there was like a vacuum cleaner sale or some shit like uh on like the same road that the clubs were at and like the guy was like uh showing off the vacuums and shit and i guess like it got stuck to her neck and like so she got like it was like weird she got like assaulted by some dude wow. Yeah, she got assaulted by some assaulted. dude. I definitely got assaulted. You def you're saying you definitely got assaulted when that happened? Yeah, so I don't know, bro. She's talking about she's talking about uh, a vacuum salesman or some shit. Now, if you thought the first story was crazy, well, then this is going to blow your mind. Twitch streamer and resident sped, known as a munchy main, has been arrested after leading the cops on a high-speed chase in Los Angeles yesterday morning. But that's not all. Apparently, the van Munchy stole belonged to a nursing home. And if you thought that was the worst part, well, I hate to tell you, it's not. Apparently, allegedly, there was a 93-year-old cancer patient in the back of this van during the entire chase. Now, could Munchie have pulled over and let this poor man out? He could have, but that's not Munchie. Munchie is a prick. Munchie led this dying man on a police chase for over 10 minutes before surrendering. Now, you will notice when Munchie goes to surrender, the news anchor calls him a woman. He calls him a woman multiple times, in fact. I'm sure most of us would get confused as well. I'm not sure if Munchie's a man or a woman or just a sped. I really don't know, but obviously, this helicopter pilot is flying a helicopter. He's a few hundred feet off the ground, so I will Will give him I will give him a pass and he you know I'll give him a pass on the whole woman thing so that's why you hear them say woman but I I, I promise you from the bottom of my heart what you are about to see is footage of Munchie Maine on a high-speed chase with a 93 year old cancer patient in the back of a stolen nursing home van now the footage was captured by a helicopter in downtown Los Angeles so shout out to the awesome pilot and like I said this is some shocking shocking footage and prayers to the 93 year old dying man who Munchie almost killed yesterday now here is the chase here is the capture here is the footage Roll it. Oh, Sky Fox and the crew over a pursuit. Stu, fill us in. What part of town are you at? You know, every time I say this is one of those ones that we've just never seen before, and this is another one of those. You see this van right there? That's actually going to be, you can see the door is actually open on that, uh, and he just made a turn onto Sylvan. Uh, he's actually right by the courthouse. Now, that's one of those vans. It belongs to uh, some sort of uh, company that transports uh, elderly people or people in some sort of need and it has been hijacked that's the way it's been described now somebody is actually inside that driving that vehicle that should not be and we don't know if there is somebody in the back seat that seems to be the big question the driver coming out the suspect the female suspect as you were mentioning Stu 
Yep, the female suspect. That's the only description they gave earlier on. A uh, female, blonde, blonde-haired female behind the wheel. It does look like uh, she is complying. This coming to an end now out here in the Van Nuys area, and again off of Tyrone near that near where it dead ends out here. This is a very industrial area, but you can see those officers still not taking any chances. LAPD helicopter still above, but it does look like she is complying. Again, how all this happened. That's going to be some questions that are going to be answered later on. But And I know what you're going to ask next. And yes, guys, my team did the digging. They did the due diligence. They did the work. And we found Munchie Mane's mugshot. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen right now. This right here is Munchie Mane's mugshot. Obviously, he looks horrible. Honestly, it's hard to tell this man is 30 years old. He kind of looks 60. He kind of looks like a meth head. But hey, that's what the claws do to you. And like they say... There ain't no laws when you're drinking them claws. You know what I'm saying, Maine? And like I said, I am the most 100% accurate news organization on this YouTube platform. I would never lie. All of these stories are 100% accurate, and this is exactly how they happened. So if you want to be first to hear the news, be sure to hit that notification bell, because as soon as I get the scoop, I am going to keep you in the loop. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Drama Alert. Keemstar is out. We got we gotta get the, the thumbnails in the the YouTube thumbnails, you know what I'm saying? All the creators be like You know what I'm saying? Dig Dig Got some top from this sexy nigga. He from Tennessee. I suck this cock. Yeah, I beat his shit. I love his BBC. He in my throat. Penis make me choke. And he in my cheeks. His name Sean. You already know he fucked me every week. He's 6'2. Yeah, he really cool. His penis make me drool. He banging blue with a dick tattoo. I'm up in his boobs. He get the smiley. He ain't used to this. I hit him with this dick. Got me gasping. Coulda threw a fit. The way he kissed my lips. I be beating. Coulda been Chris Brown. The way I beat his dick. He's my hoe. That boy is my bitch. I'm busting on his lips. But fuck that, right back to the tip, cause it's a major dick. Plus he thick, and his cum get sticky when it's in my tits. His dick like six, and it make me moan. It's hard as a brick, and he groan. When he dick me slow, he throw me on the floor. So I'm like, cool, let him send me news and do what he gon' do, cause he my thought. Put him in my box and fuck me till I poop. I grab my cock. It's been through a lot, but it still fuck like new. I grab my cock. Yeah, I come a lot and leave it in his throat. That's how it go. My dick. Here we go. Welcome to this place. I love BBC. Deep in my butt's ear. Dude, chat, bro. Hey, chat, can I be honest, bro? And, like, I don't know, streaming shit or whatever, man. I cannot wait to get fucked in my ass later tonight. Dude.